Have you ever had to share something vulnerable about yourself with someone you like? Here's how to make the whole thing so much easier. Greetings, sweet things, it's me, Fern Lullum, and I am here to change the way you think about your love life. Isn't it an icky, niggly, messy situation when you find yourself attracted to somebody thinking that they are gorgeous and amazing and everything you could possibly want them to be. And they even like you back. Except there's something about you that you haven't told them yet, and you're pretty sure that when you do tell them, they aren't going to stick around and they're not going to be in your love life for a whole lot longer. That is a humdinger of a situation, and it's one that I am only too familiar with. I remember so many times as a young blind woman thinking, how the hell am I going to tell somebody that I can't see? And how are they going to respond to that? And I remember being so scared of their judgment and rejection, because if they didn't want anything more to do with me, it was like clarification to me that my insecurities and my fears about myself were true. And it took me so long to feel anywhere near okay with that. I had so many sleepless nights wondering how I was going to get around this problem. It was like two ends of a spectrum. It was like, I either don't tell them anything and just show up on a date and they don't even know that I can't see, which created all kinds of problems, as I talked about in a previous video, or I go and I drop this massive bombshell and it's like, and they're just like running in the opposite direction. I was very aware that I needed to make this easier on myself. And if you are in this situation and you feel the same way and you're experiencing all of the same emotions, here are some things that I did that hopefully will help you too. I believe there has to come a time when you look inside yourself and you say, what do I want? out of this situation? What's going to make me feel more comfortable? And by the way, this isn't about them or how they feel or what they might want. This is totally about you and what's going to help you here. I met many of my dates online, so I wanted to plant a seed in their mind very early on when we were first messaging. So I would often write something in messages along the lines of, by the way, I am partially sighted, so you might have to find me on this date. But <laughs> the good news is we can use it as an excuse to hold hands. <laughs> I know that's all kinds of cringy and awkward and <laughs> sickening, <laughs> possibly. But what I was trying to be was flirtatious and fun and lighthearted and show that I'm okay talking about this and you're allowed to ask questions about this without it being like a business meeting and I sit them down and I've got an agenda like, right, first item, blindness. How do you feel about it? Because <laughs> that, like, nobody wants that. And it's making the issue even bigger than it needs to be. It then made me feel so much more at ease when I did end up meeting them, right? Because they already knew that they would have to find me now on the date. So I could just relax and I didn't have to worry about them wondering what the hell I was doing if something came up relating to my site. We could just talk about it organically. And that was step two for me. Letting the conversation just naturally take the lead. So it wasn't something that I was like forcing or making a big deal out of or highlighting. It was just something that if it came up, we could just talk about it. We could talk about it like a job or like a hobby or, you know, I can't see very well, let's discuss that, or like, what are you watching on Netflix right now? It's just part of natural organic conversation, which made it feel so much less scary to me. And then thirdly, I would invite them to share their insecurities. So I would say something in the conversation like, I'm sure you know how it feels to be self-conscious, or I'm sure you know what it feels like to have something you're insecure about. Because that way it opens up the conversation so that they can then give their side of the story. And that was the most powerful, beautiful part of this for me, was that we were then able to talk about insecurity as a general topic, and we were able to connect and relate and bond over these things, really quite personal things, that we felt. And I found that a lot of people, it seemed like they'd never met somebody who was willing to do that before. Somebody who was 
willing to get deep and be really vulnerable and honest about how they feel about themselves and then show that it's a two-way thing. That, to me, created these amazing fireworks. <laughs> it was like, ooh, ah, and all those sexy noises that you make when you first meet someone. It was an amazing connection, and it made me stand out in the crowd, it felt like, to these people, and they would want to keep talking to me, and they would then want to see me again, because I not only was honest and open with them, but I allowed them to do the same, which, quite a lot of the time, particularly we know with men, they don't have that opportunity or that platform to just talk about how they feel. Those were the things that made all the difference to me. And as soon as I started having these conversations, these open conversations, something in my love life did start to shift. It had been a nightmare up until that point and I'd had very little success. Slowly, slowly things improved. I'm not gonna say like overnight everything was amazing and I never went on a bad date again, right? And I never got a dick pic in my DMs <laughs> ever again, like, no. But it made a difference. It made a significant difference to how I felt, how other people felt about me and just dating in general, like the whole thing it changed the game. It made me want to do it a whole lot more. So I hope this has helped you in some way. And let's face it, we all have parts of ourselves that we don't particularly like talking about. I hated talking about my blindness. I hated anyone highlighting it in any way. And for so long, I completely hid the fact that I was blind and I would just go on those dates and have people think that I was sighted. If you haven't seen my video about that, it's called Why Hiding Insecurity Doesn't Work in Dating. You need to go and watch that right now and I will meet you there. <laughs>